So before I begin this video, I'd just like to give a massive thanks to Luigi. I'll be sure to link uh, his channel on screen and in, in the description. Without him, I wouldn't be able to put this quest guide together because he did help me with the uh, elder locations and that was probably the most difficult part of the quest. So massive thank you to Luigi. I really do appreciate it, my friend. Hey guys, it's Vince and welcome back to another video. This is going to be my fast quest guide for the Plague's End quest. Now, one of the main things you're going to be needing through the quest is the Morning Gear and to obtain this, just go south of the Charm Sprite, south of the Gnome Stronghold. Kill a mortar there just by the gate and then pick up your, all the gear you needed for the quest. So to start the quest, teleport to Letya and speak to Ariane Win. And make sure you have your mourning gear on you and some weapons and some armor um, just to defeat some mid-level mourners. Now head west into the door and north through the other door. And when you're prompted with the text, just say, we heard a mouse, followed by, it might get into the food stores, followed again by, um, we thought, we knew you were busy, so we so we dealt with it. And then once you've done that, just head through the door and then speak with uh, Ariane Win again. And then you just have to head west and speak with a couple of mourners there. You'll... Um, when you open the quest guide, it'll say you will relieve the mourners. Um, now, all you have to do is left click on the mourners, and then it will just, um, they will walk away. But then speak to the other two guys that replace them, and then select the first option three times, and then the second option. So now go up the stairs and make your way north into the house and speak with the mayor of Prifendus. Make sure you select option 1 twice, then head south and speak with the morning about the food supply. You then want to head back to the mayor and after speaking with him, left click on his table and go back to Ariane. and then select the first option twice, and then the second option again. So now you want to speak to Edmund. Uh, he's located in East Arty, north of the general store south of the church, and he'll give you like a little scroll. And then once you've got the scroll, make sure you have the scroll, speak through all the chat with him, make your way back into West Arty and then go to the first floor of the house north of the courtyard, and then you want to speak to Bravik. Now he's just upstairs, he's in the eastern room, you just have to go through the door, um, and I'm not sure if you need your morning gear to get into West Arty, but just have a little chat with Bravik, and he will then, um, he'll hook you up with some stuff. But now you just have to speak to a few people around Ardone, and you just have to tell them that you'll meet them in the church as you're planning to rebel against the mourners, because that's what the entire quest is about, rebelling against the mourners. Uh, so you want to start with Jethic, who is in the courtyard just near Bravik, and then you want to speak to Alina, who is in East Ardone. She's on the um, on the western side of Eastern Ardone, and she's in the northern house, near where the pigeon cages are and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure. But then you want to speak to Carla. She's west of the courtyard in, in West Ardone. She's not really hard to find. She's just out in the open with a few of her friends. Uh, you also want to head west even more after you've spoken to Carla, and you'll find Koftik. He's by the entrance of the new cave, um, or he's, he's by the entrance of one of the caves there. Um, it's not really, not easy to miss. So once you've spoken all, once you've spoken to Koftik, make sure you tell him to meet you with the church. And then you want to speak to the last couple who's in this small house north of the courtyard. There's the two, there's the mum and the dad, and then there's also the child in there. So just have a speak, um, just chat to one of the, one of the parents, and then they'll go to the church. But, but basically, once you've spoken to all of these people, you want to make your way back to the church, and the, to the church is located south of the courtyard, it's really, really hard to miss, and you just have to speak to any of the people that you've told to meet there, and then once you've done that, just scroll through each option, and then go northeast, um, and then you just have to barge through the door. Uh, once you've gone straight through the door, everyone will come in, and I'll just you'll, there'll be some sort of hectic party going on in there, you know, you're killing the mourners, you're taking damage, and you know, there's, some, there's a riot going on, or something's happening, I'm not quite sure what's happening. But make sure you kill all the mourners, and then you want to go down the trap door in the western room, I think it is. And there's also, there's, uh, there's some higher leveled mourners down there, so make sure you use your weapons and your food and your armor and stuff to kill those. But then, well then once you've killed all the mourners, um, you have to kill the head mourner in the room by himself. I'm pretty sure it's in the western room, I could be wrong, but he's in the room by himself. But once you've killed the head mourner, he's actually got quite a bit of health. Um... So you want to be using some threshold abilities and ultimate abilities against him. Um, he doesn't hit. He doesn't hit very hard, but he does have a lot of health. So you have to be. You have to be careful of that. 
But once you've, once you've defeated him, Alina will magically appear and give you a flag. And then you have to put this flag on the top floor of the building that you're in. Um, so you want to go back up the trapdoor, then you want to go up the set of stairs, and you want to replace the flags that have already um, that have already been placed. And then there will there'll be a cutscene. And after the cutscene, you'll be teleported to I think it's Sir Edmund. I'm not quite sure where you're teleported to. But once the uh, cutscene's complete, you want to speak with Edmund. Then you want to go to the first floor of this castle into King Lathus' room. He's on like so. You go up one set of stairs, and he's in the middle of the castle. You just want to kill his boyfriend, and then uh, you want to speak with him. But you can choose to spare him or kill him. I'm not quite sure if this matters. Um, it doesn't really affect the quest line. I'm not quite sure. It might affect something in the future. I um I chose to spare him, but you know it depends on your morals. If you want to kill the if you want to kill the poor guy or save him, I chose to save him because I was in a good mood. So I decided to I decided to spare him. Make your way back up to Leia and then speak with Ari Ariane win again, and then you should teleport. Um, to the two fellows once again, it'll just teleport you to, yeah, in, like, you'll be in the underground area near the, um, near the bookcases and stuff. But once you've spoken to those guys, you want to speak to, uh, Gwir the Queer. He's just, he's just up, um, he's just up in Letyer again, so I'm pretty sure you just get teleported there. But after speaking to him, you'll commence the Finding the Elders part of the quest. Now, all you have to do is find six different, I think, is it six or four? I think it's six different elders you have to find. They're out, they are quite easy. It's just knowing where they are, so I'm going to tell you guys where they are on this, uh, in this quest guide. But you make sure when you speak to Gwir the Queer, you have to scroll through all of the options because he'll give you a charm and he'll also give you like a little note paper because they are really important. You'll need them to finish the quest. So make sure you scroll through all the options with Gwir the Queer um, and you should be able to do the elders part. So now you want to go to your bank and grab your 10 magic logs, a runite bar, your defense potion with three doses, your Cure Plant Spell or Cure Plant Potion, 200 Spirit Shards, 1 Green, Crimson, Blue and Gold Charm, a Pouch, some Weapons and Armor and Food, and you want to make sure you bring your Ring of Kinship as well. So firstly use the Letla, the Letia, the, the Letia Lodestone and pick the Red and Blue Mushrooms that are just there. Um, and also once you've picked those, they are quite close to each other so it should be quite difficult. So just grind these mushrooms and then use them with the defense potion and you get like a purple potion. And then you just you have to drink this potion at Demonheim. So use your ring of kinship to teleport to Demonheim, run north into the lobby area. And then just drink the potion. And once you drink the potion, there will a portal will appear. So just go through the portal and you'll end up in this underground cavern and speak to the there's only one person, there's only one elder there. So just have a chat with him, go through all the options, and as soon as he teleports away, you know you've completed this elder. So now for the next two elders, you want to teleport to Letya by using the Crystal Sea Teleport. And then you want to run northwest out of Letya through the dense forest. You then want to make your way um, a little bit northwest and go over the, I believe it's the leaves. You just have to jump over the leaves. And you want to make sure you follow the path all the way east. And then once you go east, you want to hit the cave. And as soon as you enter the cave, all you have to do is use the charm on the summoning obelisk. And you make sure you have the green... Um, so you've got the crimson, blue, you've got your green and your gold charms in your inventory as well as your pouch. And once you've done that, you will create a, um, a pouch. And once you've created the pouch, it'll be in the elder's pouch. All you have to do is summon the pouch and all you have to do is speak to the elder that spawns and then um, run through all of his options. And as soon as he disappears, you've completed that part. So the next elder is quite close to the, um, to the summoning one. All you have to do is run a little bit east, and there's like a little, on the mini-map, you'll see a little red dot. It should be to the south of the cavern. So essentially, just run east, and then go a little bit south. You have to mine the rubble in the wall, and then just enter the doorway. And as soon as you enter the doorway, there'll be three, um, there'll be three guards guarding the elder. So all you have to do is go in there and kill those three guys, and then speak to the elder a bit. And now, the elder seems to be a little bit angry or something like that. Not angry, she seems to be broken. I'm not quite sure what's wrong with her, but all you have to do is use your rune bar on her, and then she's fine, have a little chat with her, and then you'll be completed with that elder. Now, for the next part, you need to find five symbols. They're all located in Leia, so it's quite easy. The first symbol is right by the bank. Uh, the second is upstairs on the outside wall of the church to the north. Um... The third one is on the ground floor. Now, it's located in the southwestern room. So, it should just be on the inside wall in the southwestern room. Now, the fourth symbol is located on the first floor of the northwest room. So, just go to the northwestern room, climb up the stairs, and you should find it quite easily. Now, the fifth symbol is in the south. So, it's it's east of the southwestern room. Once you've found 
all of those five symbols. Make sure you have your 10 magic logs in your inventory. You then want to make your way into the middle of Lecha, which is a little bit north of the last symbol. And just build the statue there. Now, like I said before, you need your 10 magic logs to build the statue. So once you've done that, um, all you have to do is climb up the stairs right next to the statue. And you speak with the two guys there and you've completed this elder part. So now this next elder is located on the uh, with the red X on this map that I'm showing you right here on screen. Um, to get there, it's quite simple. Just make your way um, west out of Letya and follow. You, just make your way down. Um, and once you get to the lodestone, actually, it'll probably be easy just to use the lodestone and run a little bit southwest. You have to go through a trap and then you just run north. But the thing with this is. You have to cut. Um, you have to cut one of the logs near the dense forest because the tree that you're going to be inspecting is actually it's in the middle of the dense forest. Like you, you only have to go through two of the dense forest out of the three to then inspect the tree and then cure the plant. But to do that, you must. Uh, you have to chop one of the trees then, and the little glowing ball will actually head straight towards the little the, the growing tree. Um, and once you do that, you'll be given the inspect option, so you have to inspect the tree. You then want to use your cure, your cure plant potion or your cure plant spell on it, and then the elder will appear. And like you've done with all the other elders, just have a little chat with him, and he will then disappear, and you've done this elder part. So now this other elder is south of the magic trees, which is, you know, you can just use the, use the let your teleport again. You want to run south through the magic trees, and you just have to follow the path on screen. Um, I'm not going to show this for very long because it's quite self-explanatory. Just go there, and then just make your way through where the red line is showing you. So go through the uh, the route that the, lead, that the red line is suggesting, and you should be able to get to the western side of the poison waste. And once you get there, you want to speak to the elder. I'm not, I'm not quite sure of the elders' names. That's why I'm referring to them as the elders, because they do have different names. But she'll ask you some of the questions. Um, now, she, yeah, so like I said, she'll ask you some questions, and you have to give her the correct answer. The correct answers are, so choose option two, then you have to choose option one, and then you have to choose option three. So they're the three answers to the questions that she asks you, and then she'll just disappear like all the other elders have. Now you want to teleport back to Leia. And then speak with uh, Ariane win again, and she'll teleport you. Telly, she'll teleport you back to the underground area. Um, so you just want to speak to one of the mourners there, and then scroll through all of the text. So once you've you know spoken to those mourners there in the underground bit, I found the best way to get to the Tyrus camp because you're going to need to go to the Tyrus camp for this next bit. The best way to get to the Tyrus camp is teleport to Ardone, and there's some docks to the south of the Ardone teleport. So just make your way down to the docks there. You want to pay your fare, and you end up in Brimhaven. I'm pretty sure it's Brimhaven. You then want to charter a boat to the Tyrus camp, and then once you've chartered your boat to the Tyrus camp, all you have to do is follow the path up, and then you speak to a guy called Lord Hining, I think it's called, and then you should be ready for the final part. Now, for the final part, you want to make sure you use range um, or magic. You can use melee if you wish, but I find I found it a lot easier to use range. Now, the gear that I used was for Serenic with a um, with a Dragon Rider amulet and like just the max gear, so tracking gloves, glaive and boots, Serenic, ca um, chaotic crossbows with my royal bolts and things like that. But you can get away with using like a royal crossbow or rune crossbows with um, full black dehyde. Any of those will suffice because essentially the boss fight isn't really that hard. The only thing to worry about with the boss fights are um, are the purple balls that that the dark that I think it's the Dark Lord summons because every three attacks, so you have so you have chance to use three basic abilities, and then the dark um, then the Dark Lord will actually throw a purple ball at you, and then you just have to run away. So if you see in the clip, all I do is just run around in massive circles. Why I just use three attacks, I then run maybe four or five squares away from the purple ball. I use three attacks again, and I just run around in circles. It is quite easy. If you're not quite sure with the timing or anything like that, just keep running around. Use one basic ability, then just keep running around. Use a basic ability. Run around. Use a basic ability. It really isn't too difficult. But I, I recommend um, attacking the, the Dark Shadow in the middle first. Make sure he's dead, and then focus on the other Dark... Uh, then, the, then you focus on the other Dark Summons around the room. Because the reason you want to kill the guy in the middle is because of those Purple Shadows. The Purple Shadows will hit about... Um, I believe it's your life points. So... For example, if you're 87 life points, it'll hit 870. Um, if you're nine, if you're 99 life points, it'll hit 990. That's what I'm under the impression of. It could be wrong, but I was getting hit for 990, so that's the assumption I'm going to make. But to kill these bosses, you need to actually complete the um, the rebounding lights part. Now it is quite simple. This this um, this puzzle is a lot easier than the one you have to do in Morning End Part Two because all you have to do is you just have to rotate the lights and then you have to, all, essentially all you have to do is guide the beam into the middle. And once the beam is in the middle of the room, the bosses will spawn and you just have to kill the bosses. You have to repeat that. Um, 
You have to repeat that seven times. So there's there's eight different rooms you have to do. Um, well, not different rooms. They're all in the one room. There's eight different um, puzzles you have to complete with the light. They get a little bit harder, but by harder, I mean they just take longer to complete. It really isn't difficult at all. The only thing that gets more difficult is the boss fights because the bosses get a little bit tougher. They get a more bit more HP, and there aren't quite uh, there are quite a few more of them. There are quite a few pillars around the place, so if you manage to um, accidentally click the wrong one and it pops up, you can actually right-click the pillars and you can actually remove the uh, you can remove the mirrors. And that was one thing to note. So make sure you do that if you do manage to um, if you do manage to mess up somehow. But that's basically all the quests. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quest guide. If you did, let me know with a like and a comment. Feel free to hit that subscribe button as well. Um, but apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.